If you like to talk to tomatoes, if a squash can make you smile, if you like to waltz with potatoes up and down the produce aisle, have we got a show for you. Kids, I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. Welcome to Veggie Tales. Bob, I gotta say, you look nice today. Did you get a haircut? Oh, yes, I did, as a matter of fact. Nice of you to notice. Uh, you look a little different, too. Have you been working out? Yeah, I've been doing some push-ups. Hmm, thought so. You know what, Bob? I think we should just address the elephant in the room. You think so? Yep. Hey, Roger! <laughs> Thanks for coming. Did you bring your friends? Awesome. He seems nice. I just have one little question. Why in the world did you bring an elephant onto the countertop? Bob, you didn't know, uh? I didn't. Oh, ah, I get it. Noah. We're telling the story of Noah. Yep. I love the story of Noah. It's one of my favorites. Mine too. I thought of it right away when we got this email from Chris from Raton, New Mexico. Um, excuse us, Roger. <laughs> Dear Bob and Larry, my new baby sister just came home from the hospital. The thing is, I prayed for a baby brother. I had big plans for a brother. Now what am I supposed to do? Why would God do this to me? Your friend, Chris. <laughs> Kids. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing here, Larry. Does this have something to do with God's plans? <laughs> I think you're right on track. Thanks, Bob. Plus, I think Chris is really going to love the orange arc, the giant squid, and the really cool dirigible. The what, the who, and the what? The orange arc, the giant squid, and the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard what you said. But if I recall correctly, none of those things were mentioned in the story of Noah. Well, you know, I imagine what it would have been like for Noah's family. For his wife and kids, and what Shem would have thought of the whole thing as he returned from his honeymoon. Okay, now I'm really confused. Did I mention my imagination is very imaginative? Oh boy. Don't worry, Bob. This is gonna be great. <coughs> Roll film! Okay, okay, my turn. Knock, knock. Orange. Orange too. Orange, you glad to be heading home? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shem, I can't wait to get home to the old orange grove and start decorating. Well, first I'll need to build our house. I'm thinking of a big rec room. Or a walk-in closet. And a barbecue pit. Or a flower garden. You know what, Sadie? Whatever makes you happy. We're a team. Now that we're married. Yeah! Oh, wait till you see my plans for the porch. I'm gonna build a swing, and then right next to that swing, I'll build another swing. Why would you do that? Because the best things in life come in twos. Aww. Like salt goes with pepper, and carrots with peas. A sock with its mate. Macaroni and cheese. A cup and a saucer. Or a pair of shoes. The best things in life come in twos. They, they come, come in twos. twos. They come in two. Look, two bunnies. You two. The best things in life come in two. So adorable. It's cookies with milk and it's ham with eggs. Two birds of a feather, your arms and your legs. It's making wees out of me's and you's. The best things in life come in twos. They come in two. They come in two. Those giraffes? Two. Emus. Two. 
bison? Crocodiles? Penguins? What's going on? Maybe they're putting in a zoo. The animals are all headed in the same direction. Yeah, to the orange grove. To the orange grove! Oh, I hope this isn't one of Dad's little projects. Oh, I don't think it's little at all. No, 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 no! I gotta hand it to Noah. When he does something, he does it all the way! <laughs> All the way off the deep end? That giant orange slice is right where our new house is supposed to go. Uh, oh, hey, hey, him! Japheth! Welcome back, guys! Yeah, welcome back. Guess what we've been doing the whole time you've been on your honeymoon? Grab a tool. It's hammer time. And this is a. It's a boat. Actually, it's an ark. No, I mean, why are you building it? Now, Dot, it's so good to see. See you. Oh, hi, you two. Hey, can you tell me what's going on here? Not before Sadie tells us about the honeymoon. Come on, girl. We want to hear all about it. And don't spare the details. Shem's going to build me a walk-in closet. Wow. Oh, hey, guess what? I adopted a pig. <laughs> Great. He's adorable. Now, why are you building the boat? Ark. Yeah, Dad wanted to talk to you about that. <laughs> you do understand that this is where my new house Can is I supposed to... Can I tell you to... name my pig Bacon? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely name, all right. Do you know where Dad is? Up top, on the boat. All right. Dad says he heard straight from God on this. Okay, I'm gonna just tell Dad that this crazy project has to stop, we'll unbuild this monstrosity, and everything can get back to normal. Cool? Sound good? Good? Great, thanks. Straight from God, Shem! Hey, Shem, when you see him, ask him when we're breaking for lunch, okay? One said it would be easy building this old ark. But anything sure is possible when God gives you the spark. Yeah, yeah. Said it right there, please. God's got plans for me and you. Great big things for us to do. When God has plans, don't ask him why. If he says build, you say Plans. Hey, Dad! Welcome back, son! How was your honeymoon? Great. Hey, Dad, um, explain to me why you're you're building a giant orange slice boat. Ark. Ark, right where my new house is supposed to go. Isn't it wonderful? God told me it would have to be big. The mess you're making? No, the ark we're building. One morning I was talking with the Lord, and he said, Noah, you gotta build an ark. A really big one. So here we are. Dad, you're the best. You walk with God. You're honored and revered. Nice of you to say. Build a boat in the desert. Don't you think that's weird? You should be wearing a hot hat. I've got plans to build a life and spend it with my awesome wife. And your big plans are in my way. We'll build your boat, but let's do it another day. Cause I've got plans. Put those on the top deck, my dear. Be gentle. Of course I will. I'm a lady. I've got plans for me and you. I've got plans for us to do. Yeah, but your big plans are in my way. I've got plans. I've got plans. So we take us away. Not today. I've got plans. I've got plans. I've got plans. I've got, 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 got plans. Now, where did I leave that drill? Wait, oh, uh, Dad, wait up. Wow, you bought the whole hardware store. Always have the right tool for the right job, son. Of course, it helps to know where it is. So, Dad, about this monstrosity... Ark. Ark you're building? I get that God told you to build it, but did he say why? Sure he did. Why do you think I'm in such a rush? 600 years old and you still can't slow him down. Shem, look who we brought you. You're finally here. Hey, Mom! Oh... 
Mom, it's good to be home, even if I barely recognize it. How are you handling all this, Nema? I, I mean, Mom? <laughs> I'll admit, when I heard what God told your father, I was a little rattled. But I trust him, and I trust God. Now, why don't you sit down and eat? Uh -huh. Found it! Relax, everybody. This is only a drill. <laughs> Get it? Oh, Noah, you're such a card. Walks with God and tells jokes. Mom, this looks delicious. Okay, who wants to say grace? Hold on, Dad, please. I've got something I've been trying to ask you, and, and you've got to listen to me, okay? All right, son. What is it? Why did God ask you to build this boat? Because the earth is going to be flooded, Shem. Okay. That's a what? God has seen that no one cares about doing what's right anymore. So he's gonna start over. You re you really? The ark will save us from the flood. This is God's plan. Dad, this is the craziest, most unbelievable thing I've ever heard. We must trust in God. If we do, I know that he will see us through. There are things we believe but can't touch with our hands. Like the way we know this seed will grow with water and with light. If you choose to have faith, you must trust in God's plans and have confidence that come what may, they always turn out right. It's the proof of what we pray for and the things we hope each day. So we trust, we trust that God will keep his promise Trust, we trust because he always does Trust, we trust God's word's the surest thing that ever was So we trust, we trust that God will be beside us Trust, we trust he'll care for us and guide us Even when he's sometimes hard for us to see That's when we must trust It's the proof of what we pray for and the things we hope each day for. So we trust that God will keep his promise. Trust because he always does. Trust God's words the surest thing that ever was. So we trust that God will be beside us. Trust he'll care for us and guide us even when he sometimes hard for us to see. That's when we must trust. <laughs> I think I need more than oranges to trust in something this big. Oh, hey, it's you guys again. Aren't you cute? The passengers are starting to arrive. I thought we were the passengers. We're not the only ones God is saving. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> You're not going to take some animals on board, too, are you? <laughs> oh, no. Not some animals. All the animals. God promised he would send two of every living creature. Anything that crawls or flies is coming on board. Open the doors. Open the stalls. Get the shot. Hold on, everyone. We're not quite ready yet. Give us a second. <laughs> now we're ready. Welcome to the ark. Animals and friends, we thank you all for coming to this place. The weather's dry, and it seems like I might be a bit off base. We know it may seem odd, but we're listening to God. We're grateful for your willingness to try, which is why we, we, we welcome you aboard. We welcome you aboard. As you will see, no details been ignored. Take a look around, we know that you'll be bored. We welcome you aboard. There are water yeah. slides and theme park rides. Bedding's all brand new. The gym is great. From spa's first rate. There's karaoke to do. Everything is top notch. I'm big enough for two. Inspired by the Lord, thanks for having faith, this is your 
Sons and daughters, you make me proud. We got the boat. We got the animals. We're almost ready for this historic voyage. You are now in the Lord's Army. Uh, Navy. The Lord's Navy. And to keep his ship as shipshape as a ship should be, we will all have a job to do. Now in Japheth, you're in charge of mammal feeding time. Check. I'll need to know if anyone is on a diet or gluten-free. Uh, Sadie, you're on housekeeping and deck sweeping. As long as it rhymes. Can I be the lookout in the crow's nest? We don't have a crow's nest, Ham. Except for the nest with actual crows. And sitting in there is not a job. <laughs> but you and Dot will care for all bugs and reptiles. Ooh. Creepy. I'll be on leaks and repairs. Nema will be animal exercise and hoist aid. <laughs> Gesundheit. And Shem, you're in charge of the aviary. You mean the birds? Yes. All of our feathered friends will be your feathered friends. I have a feeling you'll be very suited for it. <sighs> Great. My job is literally for the birds. And to answer your next big question, we will all help with animal cleanup. Ew. Ew. You got a name for this ship? I'm keeping it simple. Ark. That really does sound catchy. Iconic. I think it should be called Noah's Ark. Ooh, that's good. Noah's, Noah's Ark. Ark. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. My life with Sadie just started. <laughs> this, this isn't what I wanted for us. Sometimes our plans need to wait, Shem. The world is about to change. I know Dad heard from God, but I didn't. It could be God tries to speak with you. Maybe you just haven't been listening. You're more like your father than you think. You build, you invent, you question. That's all wonderful. All you need to do is get to know God the way Noah does. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go give a giraffe a neck massage. It's gonna be a long one. <laughs> okay, my little turtle friends. I think that's the last of them, Noah. Sorry, Dad. Maybe two by two doesn't apply to pets that were already in the family. Shouldn't there be a friend for a little bacon? Indeed. And there she is now. <laughs> Aw, oh, Bacon, I'm so happy for you. And what's your name, little lady? I think I'll call you Pork Chop. That should be everyone. Let's do a final check. Hippos by the rhinos, sloths by the koalas, and the cats and dogs are finally separated. Lizard, lizard, snake, snake, gecko, gecko. Ah. Birds with feather flocking together. Ham and hamsters, ready to go. Captain, all crew and critters accounted for. Okay, everyone's aboard. You know what that means? Lunch and a long nap? No! More singing! Oh. Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. We join our veggie friends for their annual Easter tradition. Okay, kids, ready for the Easter egg hunt? Yay! <laughs> I've got my hat, I've got my net, I've got binoculars, metal detector, I'm set for an expedition. I'm a cook on a mission. The greatest Easter egg hunt yet. I'm good to go. I'll find the prize. At the safari store, I bought out all their supplies. Life will be sweet when my beautiful treat is right before my eyes. My golden egg has my name on it. It will be mine, all mine, all mine, because I want it. It's there for the 
the picking. Run up on your chicken. Soon I'll be holding my golden egg. In the deepest, darkest jungle, there are many scary things. I am always on the lookout for whatever bites or stings. I run or creep down low, I go wherever eggs may roam. Remember, I'm a professional, so don't try this at home. No luck? Okay, my search will widen. To just beyond this lava pit, I'm sure that's where it's hiding. I overcome each hardship, I make it through each mess, because I must possess my golden egg. Has my name on it, it will be mine, all mine, all mine, because I want it. It's there for the picking, from a bunny or chicken. Soon I'll be holding my golden egg. I missed it. Oh, no. And now she has her happy hands around it. I'm defeated. A lot of nothing's what I got. But maybe, but maybe, but maybe not. I still have my golden egg. Thanks to the caring of my competitor, whose heart believes in sharing. This foil's made for peeling. Now we are holding our golden egg. Golden egg, golden egg, golden egg, my golden egg. This has been Silly Songs with Lenny. Tune in next time to hear Lenny say, This is awesome. I love Meg. Good morning, Shem. Sleep well? <laughs> Next time, try to fall a little quieter. You're gonna wake up the moose. I had a dream. There were birds all around me. Maybe because your pillow's made out of bird seed? Or maybe you're just going a little stir-crazy? I can't imagine why. Oh, maybe it's because you've been cooped up in a boat on our front lawn for seven days. And oh, has it rained one drop? No! <laughs> yep, you woke him up. Hey, Key! My sock's dry yet! It still hasn't rained, and who knows if it's ever going to? God knows. Right! Uh, no, I mean God knows. He really does. <sighs> Don't you guys want to be in control of your own destiny? Make your own plans? Write your own story? Hmm? Straight from God, Shem. I'm happy with my pig and my popcorn. Fine, pick out what you pig. I'm going outside for some fresh air. On dry land. I'm gonna go start planning our dream house. You come get me if it starts to... Shem, we need to stay on the ark, even if it's not raining yet. It's not... It's not gonna rain, Mom. Okay, it might actually be raining now. It's beginning. Get back in the ark, Shem, where you'll be safe. Come on, Shemmy. Don't mess around with this, bro. I will get on that arc when I am good and ready and fully convinced. Jim, get on the boat. Okay. Let everything go. Goodbye, garden. Goodbye, porch swing.
packed the tar. But there are so many. We'll never get to them in time. To quote the old man, we will if we have the right tools for the job. Caulking gun. Everybody grab one. Fill them with tar. Hasta la vista, leaky. for these umbrellas? I've got to say, I'm impressed that you've kept so clean from any target practice. I've even had dreams about birds. Really? Maybe they mean something. Yeah, they mean I've been hanging around birds too long. Don't dismiss it, son. Sometimes this is how God speaks to us. Did God tell you about what's next? No, just that we should wait. Keep tending the animals and wait. It's not like I'm ungrateful for all this beautiful sunshine. It's much better than the storms, of course, but we've been floating out here for months now. We may be out here for several more months, or even years. We just can't live on this ark for the rest of our lives. We're running out of hobbies to pass the time. He's right. We only have one jigsaw puzzle, and this is the fifth time I've put it together. And now I can't even find all the pieces. I keep losing more and more of them. God will reveal the rest of his plan in due time. God's got centuries to wait. I don't. I'm running out of animals who'll let me braid their hair. No one said it would be easy. We just have to trust in God. Ugh, I just cannot sit around. I've got to do something. Shem said to meet him here. He just said, meet me by a pile of randomly stacked crates? Yeah, that was pretty much it. You made it. Ah! Don't scare us like that. Enter the workshop of genius. In there? That's a really small workshop. No, that's the door. Ooh, and this is like the clubhouses we used to build when we were kids. Fellas? I'm getting us out of here. Oh, yeah. Behold, plan B. A flying machine to take us into the air and away from this seasick life. Into the air and where? To land. We'll have a much easier time finding land from a bird's eye view, and there's going to be room for everyone. That'll be so impressed. Is this part of God's plan? It's improving on it. I'm just helping him along. God just called every animal in the world and flooded the earth. He doesn't seem to need help. I'm a doer, Japheth, just like Dad. I use tools and build and invent just like him. Once he sees good old Plan B, he's going to be impressed and amazed. We should show him right now. No. Nope. 
Not yet. I want to test it. Get it ready. I want to prove to him that it will work. Okay, but I'm not good at keeping secrets. Listen, every time you think you might tell him, just shove a piece of food in your mouth. Got it. I don't know, Shem. Technically, you're redirecting for later. Like keeping a surprise birthday party a secret. A surprise birthday party, huh? Let's get started. All day. <laughs> what do you think? They're playing like an escape. To be technically exact, I have not been involved with any said project that is not slated to be shared in given time when such time is relevant to the project. Pass the soup. So will the big one! So what are you gonna do now? <laughs> I think it's time to reveal plan B to the rest of the family. Are you sure you wanna go through with this? Huh? What's that? <laughs> people what's next a tornado meteorites attack of a giant squid whatever it is Shem will survive I don't want to survive Sadie I want to live with you with everyone off this boat don't any of you see this floating zoo is gonna be the end of us but I've invented a way for us to get out of here what I give you plan B an airship designed by yours truly no more seasick waves no more endless drifting, big enough to fit all of us. And when we find land, we'll come back for the animals. Pretty great, right? 
I'm astounded. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I worked hard on it. Shem, this is a very creative idea. But how can you do this? Have you heard anything I've said? I'm trying something new. This plan is not God's plan. Anyone who climbs aboard my craft will be safer than on this boat. Who's with me? It's a simple choice. Shem, don't do this. I'm, I'm leaving right now. You have to choose. Guys. Sadie, you come with me, won't you? before you hurt yourself. Let me take care of this. Hey, Beak Lips! This is the Bible story of the Ark! Noah's Ark! And you are not in it! So go home! You can come back for Job! I... <sighs> I had plans, I always do Great big dreams, they all fell through And all those plans that I had made Have left me here, alone, adrift, afraid Is everyone okay? I think we've hit something. Please don't be another squid. It seems as though we've run aground. Aground? As in, the ground? This is fantastic. Where could we be? Some mountain. We should name it. How about Mount Where We At? That's catchy. You know, because it's where we at. How about Mount Ararat? Sounds like you're just copying me. The waters must be receding. But how fast? When will we be able to get off the ark? Only God can tell us. But for now, at least our drifting has stopped. Hey, Dad. Uh, I think they like you. They like you, too. You've taken good care of them. I, uh, I went to check on the water. I think it might be going down. Think? Well, I can't be sure. I can't see the water with all the fog. Well, I figure the water is going down. God will give us a sign when it's safe to get off the boat. Uh, Ark. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I'm wondering if these birds might be a part of God's plan. Maybe. Why would you think that? I guess it's that dream I've been having. Ah, so uh, what do you want to do? <laughs> Send a bird out to find dry land? <laughs> Good idea. I like it. <laughs> no, no, that, that was a joke. Let's give it a try. Well, uh, I am the bird guy around here, right? Let's do it, Dad. Are you sure this is gonna work? Yeah, it feels weird putting our faith in a bird. No, we're putting our faith in God. What do you mean? Well, God keeps his promises. He promised the rains would stop after 40 days and 40 nights, and they did. 
He promised to keep us safe, and here we are. And he promised to send us a sign when it's time to get off the ark. The birds are gonna help us out. I'm gonna trust God on this one. We send our hopes out into the air On kind of a little wing and a prayer Trying to trust, wishing you just give us a sign Here she comes. Guess that didn't work. Well, we'll try again. We send our dreams out into the sky and know with your care that they'll take off and fly. We'll be all right, but maybe you might give us a sign. I say something. How do you know it's going to work? Because God keeps his promises. We've got to remember the rain will stop. We've got to remember the storm will end. We've got to remember blue skies are just around the bend. God provides all we need when we step back and let him lead. I hope those turtles enjoy that. Are you kidding? That's the most excitement they get all day. So, uh, any sign of the dove yet? Not yet. Hey, thanks for being patient with me, Dad. I've been taught by the best. Would you look at that? <gasps> hey, hey, buddy. The little guy has brought us a present. Better yet, a sign. Our stories start from this humble boat. We hope that they soar, or at least that they float. We're praying they do, while watching for you to give us a sign. Those birds aren't coming back, are they? Maybe they found places to nest. I'd say so. And that means there's enough land out there for all of us. The birds, they were part of God's plan. for bringing us safely through our journey. And thank you for keeping your promise, as you always do. Amen. Amen. Who wants a s'more? Look, everyone. What's that? Ah, the Lord is making us one more promise. What's it mean? The rainbow is a sign of God's covenant with us. It's his promise to never allow the whole earth to be flooded again. So what's next, Dad? Time for us to start over. You kids go forth and multiply. I have no idea what that means. I'll explain it to you later. God's got plans. God's got plans. I'll live you. <laughs> you were right, Larry. That was great. See, I told you. And I gotta say, you've got quite the imagination. I'm a talking cucumber. That's true. Well, God did tell Noah to build an ark, and he did keep his promise by saving Noah's family and the animals. It's all right there in Genesis 6 through 9. Check it out, kids. Let's see if Cordy has a verse for us. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. Heya, Roger. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone. Now that our song is done, we'll take uh, Larry? Oh, excuse us, Roger. 
For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. Psalm 33, 4. That's right, Bob. In our story, Shem learned that just like his dad Noah, he could trust God in his plan. Because when God says he's going to do something, he does it. God's plans are much better than our own. Because he loves us and knows what's best for us. Right, Bob? That's right. So there you go, Chris. I know you really wanted a brother, but God's plan was for you to have a sister. And because God loves you and knows what's best for you, you can trust it's the best plan. And you know what? I'm sure that one day, you'll be really glad you have a sister. You'll see. Absolutely. Uh, Larry? Excuse us, Roger. Seriously, Larry, you gotta get that elephant out of here before he... <gasps> Whoa. Oh, dear. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Always remember, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Bye! Bye. Well, sailor, have fun swabbing the deck. Really, Roger? <laughs>